Hello viewers, I have been using Vivo T3 5G for about 20 days. During my usage, I have some mixed opinions about this smartphone. Vivo T3 comes with a plastic bag and the sides are also made of plastics. There are already signs of scratches on the top of the display. Dust entered into the back cover and caused scratches. The phone is not so thick and also not so slim. T3 comes with a 6.67 inches Full HD Plus AMOLED display. T3 has 1800 nits of peak brightness, so there will be no problem in sunlight legibility in outdoor condition. It comes with 120Hz of refresh rate. The display quality is good enough considering the price point. There are three options in the screen color options in the display department such as standard, professional and bright. You can have good multimedia experience. You can play HDR videos on YouTube and also in Amazon Prime I can see that the video quality is also very good and it will give you a good multimedia experience. The phone comes with stereo speakers. The primary speaker is at the bottom and the secondary speaker is at the earpiece. Though it has a stereo speaker, the sound quality is not so good. You have to increase the volume to hear the sound and after the latest update, Vivo has increased the volume level by giving 200% of screen volume. You have to increase at least 80% of the sound to hear the sound properly from this smartphone. Coming to the camera department, Vivo T3 comes with 50 megapixel of main sensor and 2 megapixel depth sensor and it has a third camera that is a flicker sensor. Photos taken by the main sensor has optimum amount of detail and the dynamic range is also very good as it is a Sony sensor, IMX882 sensor so you can expect good image quality from this sensor. In videography also you can shoot up to 4K 30 FPS video or if you want 60 FPS that is limited only to 1080p. But you will definitely miss the wide angle sensor in this T3 smartphone that is a deal breaker for many users. Vivo should have provided the wide angle sensor because wide angle sensors is used nowadays everywhere. Here are some samples of the images that I have taken from Vivo T3 smartphone. Talking about the processor, this phone comes with MediaTek Dimensity 7200 processor which is a very capable processor. It can give you an Antutu score of 7 lakhs plus so you can expect high-end gaming also however this phone is not meant for gamers if you want gaming phone you can go to another phone you can expect medium amount of gaming from this smartphone however normal day-to-day -day task is very enjoyable on this smartphone currently this smartphone is running on Android 14 with Funtouch OS 14 so you can expect two more updates that is Android 15 and Android 16 from this smartphone and also three years of security patch level so in this sense you are future proof now I will talk about my experience with this smartphone I have been using it for about 20 days and I have not used it much it is my secondary device but in my testing I saw that the battery life of this smartphone is very good it comes with 5000 mAh battery so you can expect a battery life of about 7 hours plus that is SOT and with the 44 watt charger you can charge your device in 1 hour and 15 minutes that is also great I have compared the display quality with Vivo V920 Pro and I saw that the V29 Pro's display is way above. Though Vivo T3 is very cheaper if you compare it with V29 Pro so it will be unfair to compare the display quality. If you are not using any high-end smartphone this display will also please you. 
so if you want a value for money product you can buy vivo t3 but if you want high-end gaming in that case you should skip this device or if you want wide angle sensor in that case also you should not buy t3 vivo t3 is ideal for those users who want a phone under 20,000 rupees with good battery backup very good display the main sensor is of excellent quality so in that case you might consider vivo t3 as your primary device let me know in the comment sections below if you are looking to buy this smartphone or not or if you have any questions regarding this smartphone feel free to ask me in the comment sections below thank you very much for watching this video have a great day